The name Mam, or Mamas, is taken from children's speech and means a man acting as a mother or wet nurse. He is venerated in the Catholic and Orthodox Church as a child martyr, one of the many victims of Christian persecution. The liturgical memorial of Saint Mam falls on the 17th of August. Saint Mam of Caesarea is the patron saint of animals and their caretakers, nursing mothers and infants, and also those experiencing economic violence. His intercession is invoked in cases of broken bones and hernias. The cult of Saint Mam is especially widespread in France, Lebanon, Cyprus, Greece, Italy, Spain, and Portugal. There are numerous temples and also towns named in his honor, Deremimas in Lebanon, Agios Mamas in Greece, or Sao Maimed in Portugal, among others. The saint is not popular in Poland. From the very first moments, Mama's life was full of difficulties. He was born at the time of cruel persecution of Christians by Roman emperors. What is more, he was born in a prison, where his mother and father were thrown into because of their faith in Christ. He soon became an orphan as a result of the execution of his parents. The boy was taken care of by a widow, Amia, but she died too when the boy was merely a teenager. From then on Mam had to cope on his own. He lived in a cave in the forests near the town of Morfu in Cyprus. He was a shepherd and had the ability to tame animals, including the predators. At that time, one of the forms of Christian's persecution was the imposition of unjust and draconian taxes. Legend has it that Mam avoided paying taxes because he could barely make a modest living from the work of his own hands. The provincial authorities did not concern themselves with his explanations and rejected his plea, soon Roman soldiers came for Mam to bring him to court. On their way to the town, they saw a lion attacking a lamb. Mam called the beast, then jumped on its back, he saved the lamb by picking it up and rode to the judge in this unusual way. The courage and undeniable protection of supernatural forces appealed to the judge who released Mam from his tax obligation. In gratitude, the boy offered him the lamb he had saved. However, Mam did not always manage to avoid reprisals. He was eventually imprisoned by the governor of Caesarea who sentenced him to torture. When they turned out to be ineffective and Mam still did not renounce his faith, he was handed over to the Emperor Aurelian who sentenced him to further torment. But an angel liberated the boy and told him to hide on a mountain near Caesarea. When Mam was captured again, it resulted in him being thrown into a pit with lions. The saint, however, had a gift of talking to and taming animals, so he gently persuaded the lions not to harm him. The beasts obeyed and one of the lions even became Mam's companion, from then on they were always seen together. The lion also accompanied Mam when the young man went to the court of Alexander, the governor of Caesarea. The ruler sentenced Mam to death and immediately executed the sentence by striking him in the stomach with a trident. The wounded boy barely managed to leave Alexander's residence and, with the help of the lion, reached a theatre which was the centre of city life. There he died in front of numerous witnesses and angels descended to take his soul straight to heaven. He was only a teenager when he died and that has made him the first venerated child martyr in the history of the church. Mama's remains were transported from Caesarea to the province of Langres in France where a reliquary with the saint's remains can be still found today. The cult of Mama's first covered the area of present-day Turkey, but it also spread to southern and western Europe. Perhaps the most interesting custom connected with the saint is the sacrifice offered in Lombardy by young mothers who pray for lactation. A woman who cannot feed her baby is supposed to come to the altar with bread and cheese, and then leave the church and offer the food to the first passerby she meets. This is hoped to achieve Saint Mam mercy and give the woman bread of children, that is milk. The symbols of Saint Mamas are a staff, a lamb, a lion. The staff relates to the Mam life of a poor shepherd he led after the death of his parents and his nanny. According to the legend, the lamb was saved from a lion by the saint, and then given to the judge who released Mamas from tax obligation. The lion relates both to the legend of Mam avoiding unjust taxes, and to the story of his imprisonment with predatory lions and making one of them his companion, 